Welcome to a new walkthrough of our most recent app, Persona. Now, what Persona enables you to do is to call yourself in conversation. Think of a chatbot, but with video, and it looks like the other person is actually there talking to you. So today I'll be walking you through how to make your own persona. And before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about the use cases. So you can use persona in a lot of different ways, but the real core of what inspired us to build persona came from the fact that we realized most meetings and calls end up answering what tend to be like 20 to 30 common questions that come up over and over again. If you're in sales, you know that the first call you have with a prospect ends up being, you, know, you can just turn your brain off because it ends up being the same questions. Uh, now, if you are a consultant, similar thing, right? How much does your services cost? What do you do? Who have you worked with? And you can project this out to any industry or job title. Furthermore, if you look at e-commerce, you can have people who are asking you similar questions about perhaps an item, be it a shirt, you know, whatever that item may be. They could be asking you about the size, the material, the fit, right? And so essentially, instead of spending your time answering these questions over and over and over again, when you've already done that, let's use Persona to basically clone your knowledge base and clone you so that your digital twin can answer these questions and you can focus on more creative work. And for example, in sales, you can take that second call with the customer and let your AI twin take the first one. So that by the time that you take that second call, the prospect is already warm and engaged. So with all that said, let's dive in. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. But before we do that, let's explore what the end result will be. So actually, I'll be showing you start persona that we made for persona. So I named it persona two, and I can navigate to it by using this folder window. And as you can see here, we have required videos and responses. I'll get into this in a minute, but for now, let's just dive in and see what the results look like. Okay. So the way you actually share persona around is by embedding it on your website. So think of a chatbot. Now it can sit either on the bottom left, bottom right, or center of your web page. So all we have to do to start interacting with it is click on it. And you can see that the persona, AKA you, is there blinking, ready to chat. And there are two ways to interact with a persona. You can hit text, which is this kind of typical chatbot setup where you can type in questions and get responses. We are adding in the ability to have voice as well so you can actually speak your questions. And that's going to feel even more like a human conversation. Um, but for now, let's hit text. Hi, how's it going? And welcome to this conversation about Persona. In this conversation, you can ask me anything about Persona. So for example, how it works, how much it costs, or maybe perhaps what the use cases are. So go ahead and answer your questions here now, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Okay, great. So at this point, you can see that if I zoom in here, this Persona, AKA me, is blinking, he's fluid, he looks like he's there, right? And I can ask a question. Okay, persona sounds cool. Um, how much does it cost? Yeah, so in terms of pricing for this um, alpha version of persona, it's just $9 a month. Um, and we do offer you a five day free trial by default so you can try it out before you end up purchasing. Um, and Included in that pricing is unlimited usage. So you can make as many personas as you want, share them around, have unlimited views, unlimited usage. And if you join persona during the alpha stage, you get grandfathered in to the beta stage, which is the next version that will be coming out. Interesting. Cool. So I'm, I'm curious about, you know, how I can actually start to use persona. So uh, where can I find some tutorials to get started? And of course, we're typing this out now in the next version, which is probably coming up, uh, probably beginning of next week, we'll have the ability to talk. Sure thing. Yeah. So the first place I'd recommend you go to to start learning how Persona works is our YouTube tutorial, which walks you through the process from start to finish. From there, you can always use our live chat, which is in the bottom right hand of our screen. And you can typically reply within just five minutes. And finally, we have some help docs on Persona available if you prefer written instructions. And you can find this at docs.behuman.ai. Okay, we can ask you something perhaps more casual. How's it going? 
I'm doing great. Yeah. Thank you so much for asking. Okay. So you get the idea, right? Uh, we can ask questions, we get a response and we go back and forth, right? That's the, that's the infrastructure of this conversation, if you will. So with that said, let's go back to the Beeman platform and I'll show you how this persona was built and then we'll build a new persona. All right, so we're back and we see two different sections here, required videos and your responses. Let's start with what the required videos are. So first there's the introduction and this was the video that plays whenever someone first uh, opens the persona conversation. In this video, you introduce yourself and the topic of conversation. So in this example, I said in this conversation, we'll talk about persona. Here's a couple of things you can ask me. And now the reason we're doing this is because at least in its current state, and this won't be the case for long, but in its current alpha version, persona works for a specific context, right? So you can't have a conversation about anything under the sun. It needs to be within a context. So for example, in this conversation, you can ask me anything about our sales process or about the sweater that you're looking at purchasing. For example, set the tone for what the conversation will be about. The next required video is the waiting video. And this is the video uh, where you're actually just sitting there blinking, staring at the camera. And this is what we play in order to give the feeling that um, there's a real, uh, a real person there waiting for you to type, right? So we want it to feel very, very fluid. On top of that, there's a no reply available video. This is what plays when someone asks a question you don't have a reply to. So if you would ask me a question on that persona, uh, do you want to dye your hair blue tomorrow? <laughs> I would say, hey, I don't have a response to that. Let's focus on persona. Here's a couple of things you could ask me. Um, still there. If we don't receive any input for about a minute, we say, hey, are you still there? And then finally the ending which basically says, hey, I'm going to close this chat. It seems like you're not there, but you can always open it back up and reignite the conversation with me. So those are the required videos. You have to film these videos. There are five of them. In order to use Persona, we require these. After you do that, you can then start to record your responses. So the way this works is you think about, okay, if I'm a wedding planner, for example, what are the kinds of questions that I'm going to get asked often? So for example, um, how long have you been doing this? What are your rates? How, how big of a wedding do you manage? How big is your team? Do you work alone? Can you recommend venues, right? There's a whole lot of, there's probably 30 to 40 questions that a wedding planner, for example, could be asked often. Um, what I recommend doing is, I'm, you know, jotting them down or at least having them in your head and then coming in here and you're going to be basically recording a response for each of those questions. Uh, so, for example, when it comes to, you know, let's just choose a random one here. What are required videos? Actually, let's talk about what are, I think I have one for what are response videos. Here we are. What are response videos? So, that's the question. And then we recorded our response here. Yeah, response videos are the actual responses. So, they're, they're the responses you have to the questions you anticipate in that conversation. Okay. And so, you notice we have the video, we have the question. And we have this section for prompts. And how this works is for every question, we need at least eight different ways that somebody could ask that. So for example, uh, let's say the question is something like pricing, right? So what are the different ways people can get to a response about pricing? Like could say, how much does it cost? Is it expensive? Uh, is there a free trial available? Um, what's it going to cost me, right? There's all these different phrases we can say to spur on that response. And so we want to write at least eight here. And what this does is it trains our AI to start to think about, all right, when someone starts to ask about pricing, about cost, about things around pricing, let's show this video. And um, that's how prompts work. And so again, this is the, the alpha alpha state. Um, we have our next iteration that's just already being worked on. You don't have to worry about prompts. You don't have to write it in. You just have to record your video. Um, but for now, this is how it works. And so you need eight prompts in order for a response to be valid and then built into your persona. So with all that said, I want to go through the process with you. So let's go ahead and let's build our persona. So let's go to the home page here and we'll make a new persona, record your own. And let's imagine a scenario here. Let's say I'm a marketing agency and I specialize in hotels in the New York area. 
So let me film my intro video. And the first thing to note is when you film your persona, especially when you start your intro video, get into a comfortable position. When you want no background changes, you want no movement, okay? So for example, you know, the, even the way you're sitting or if you're standing, like make sure you're able to hold that pose for a while because as you'll see, you will need to keep that pose. So let's get started. Hi, how's it going? This is Don from marketing.com. And I saw that you are interested in our hospitality marketing services, which are specialized here in the New York area. So go ahead and ask me any questions you might have. I'd be more than happy to answer them. And then following this conversation, if you want to get more in depth, would love to have a call with you, perhaps meet in person, and we can get into the details together. Okay. Now you may have noticed that there was some sort of Kind of like ghost image behind me and you may also notice that right now i'm making an effort not to move my body or my head and that'll all make sense in a minute okay so that video uploaded let's now just record the waiting video and you see in the instructions here we say be sure to match the onion skin so if i hit record you'll notice if i go over here right you'll see there's that onion skin that's what we call an onion skin it's basically a frame like a screenshot um, from your initial video. And you see, actually, it won't even let me start or stop the video without matching the onion skin. So in order to start the video, you have to match the onion skin. In order to stop the video, you have to match the onion skin. Um, during the video itself, you can move around as much as you'd like. Um, I recommend trying to keep your shoulders and body very still. Um, that's going to you know, help keep things stable for you. The whole reason we do this is so the video can look as fluid as possible. So going through that process, you'll end up with required videos and thereafter responses, of course, as many as you'd like to input for your persona. The next step is to hit share persona, and this will build the persona. Typically, it'll take around five minutes. At that point, you're ready to start sharing it and embedding it on your website. You can do so by copying and pasting this embed code, and you can decide where you want it to position on your website. You can also preview it or share it around directly, it's a direct link, by clicking on this link or copying it here. And there you have it. That's really, in a nutshell, how it works. It's actually quite simple in terms of creating your persona. And I'll show you another one just so you can see an example of you know a couple of different personas here. Um, the concept is simple, and it maybe only takes 15 minutes to create, I'd say, an average persona from start to finish. But it is incredibly powerful in terms of saving you time and educating your customers in an instant yet human way, which is what we're all about here at Be Human. So with that being said, again, this is an alpha. I would love to hear your thoughts about this and persona, it will change dramatically over the next few weeks. Um, if you're curious about what the next versions will include, I encourage you to ask the persona that's embedded on our persona page, um, which I'll link in this video as well. Um, it's gonna include some very, very interesting things that uh, this is only scratching the surface, trust me. So thank you so much for your time and support here at Be Human. We couldn't do it without you. And I'll see you on the platform.